Today we are going to study about the analysis of complex mix activated sludge process that is ASP. So what are the learning outcomes? At the end of this session, students will be able to analyze the complete mix activated sludge process. Example to calculate few parameters which will be very much important while designing a complete mix ASP. So for that, we have one question that is a continuous flow complete mixed ASP is designed which is giving a following data. First is flow rate which is Q which is equal to 2150 meter cube per day. There is influent BOD which is 230 mg per liter. Effluent BOD5 that is desired effluent BOD5 which is equal to 20 mg per liter. There is also given to be MLSS that is our XT which is 2400 mg per liter. There is also MCRT or SRT which is indicated as theta C which is given to be 10 days. There is a yield coefficient that is Y which is given out to be 0 0.65 kg per kg. Microorganisms decay coefficient is also given to us that is KD which is equal to 0 0.05. And another point which is effluent su suspended solids that is SS which is 25 mg per liter. Now we have to find three parameters that is reactor volume, f bam ratio to be maintained in the re biological reactor and how much oxygen should be required for the aeration and degradation of organic matter. So let us see, uh, we will first calculate the reactor volume. For that we have to first determine the concentration of soluble BOD in the effluent. As we know the BOD5 of effluent solids which are present in the effluent is always 0 0.63 multiplied by suspended solids. As we have given the value of suspended solids to be 25 mg per liter. So we can easily calculate by multiplying 0 0.63 multiplied by 25. So we are getting the value 15.75 mg per liter. Then we have to calculate the soluble BOD in effluent which will be effluent BOD5 minus 0.63 SS which will be 20 minus 15.75 then it is coming out to be 4.25 mg per liter. Now we have to understand that influent soluble BOD is always equal to or what we can say it is equivalent to influent BOD5. So we can say that S0 is equal to 230 mg per liter. So then we have to use the formula that is xv is equal to yq theta c into s0 minus s divided by 1 plus kd theta c. By this formula we can get the volume of the reactor. Here we know that x is the MLVSS in the equation and we also know the MLVSS is always 80% of the MLSS and we know the value of MLSS by which we can calculate the value of MLVSS. So we have to multiply it by 0 0.8 into 2400 that is our MLSS to get the value of MLVSS which is coming out to be 1920 mg per liter. As here we, we can see a lot of units have been also written after the value of the respect to parameter. It is important because that will help us to maintain the units in the equation. So we can write 1920 mg per liter multiplied by volume which is in meter cube which is equal to 0 0.65 multiplied by in bracket 2150 meter cube per day. As it is written in meter cube I have to convert it in liters. So I have to multiply by 10 raised to 3 which will be liters per meter cube. Multiply by 10 that is in days multiply by 230 minus 4.25 which we have calculated earlier which having a unit of mg per liter totally divided by 1 plus 0 0.05 that is the kd multiply by 10 days that is theta c. After calculating we will get the value of volume of reactor which will be in the meter cube. So uh, the value will be coming out to be 1095436.19 which will be liters per day. I have to convert it into meter cube because in the equation volume is written in the meter cube. So which will be coming out to be 
0.44 that is by dividing uh, uh, by 1000 we will get the value in meter cube so we will have few review questions after this respective calculations the first will be bod5 of effluent solids is equal to effluent bod5 whether this statement is true or false second one is asp reactor volume is not dependent on hrt srt mlvss or none of the above i request you to please pause this video and think about these two questions and reply the answer i hope you will get the answers correct so let us see their answers for the first question the statement is false bod5 of effluent is not equal to effluent bod it this statement is very much correct for influent bod but not for the effluent bod why it is so you have to review the video again and you have to see how it is changing for the second question asp re, uh, reactor volume is dependent on all the parameters that is hrt srt and mlvss as we have used the equation for the calculation of volume all these parameters are coming into the place that's why the volume of reactor is dependent on all these parameters so going ahead with the analysis now we are calculating f by m ratio we can use the equation of hrt which will be equal to volume divided by flow rate as we know the volume which we had calculated in first place divided by the flow rate which is given to us we can do that but we have to maintain the units also so we have always have to write the units after the parameter values so the hrt which is in hours will be equal to 109.95.44 which is in meter cube divided by the flow rate which is given to us that is 2150 meter cube per day as the hrt is in hours so i have to convert the day into hours so i have to divide it by 1 by 24 that is the days per hour by that i can easily get the hrt value which will be coming up to be 12.23 hours now i have calculated the hrt for calculation of f by m ratio i have to use the equation that is s not divided by theta into x okay so s not is given to us theta we have calculated and x value that is ml vss we had calculated earlier so f by m ratio becomes 230 which is mg per liter divided by 12.23 hours as 1 by 24 days per hour which we have to shift it again back to days because f by m ratio is having a unit of per day that's why i am converting again into per day multiply by 1920 mg per liter that is the value of ml vss after this calculations i will get the value of 0.23 per day then i will calculate the oxygen requirement for the following bioreactor for that i have a equation that is 1.47 q s not minus s minus 1.42 px so what is px basically px is the excess sludge which will be wasted per day and what is a uh, this q in bracket s not minus s that is the bod5 removed per day for that first i have to calculate px px is the having uh, formula of vx divided by theta c we had seen this in a uh, previous video also so i have to calculate px now as i know the volume now i know the value of ml vss and i am given the value of theta c in the question so i can write 1095.44 meter cube multiply by 1920 mg per liter as the liter has to be converted into meter cube so i will multiply by 10 raised to 3 so that i can shift it to the meter cube divided by 10 days why i am converting it to meter cube because the volume is in meter cube so it will automatically get cancelled so i will get the value of px as 2.1 into 10 raised to 8 mg per day then following that i will put the value of px in the above equation and i can write as the value of px to be 2.1 into 10 to 8 mg per liter again the value of q which is given to us in meter cube per day i have to convert it into liters so for that 
have to multiply it by 10 raised to 6. So it will become 2.15 into 10 raised to 6 liters per day. I can also write it as 2150 into 10 raised to 3 liters per day. Now talking about s not minus s. As we have calculated s and s not is given to us, so I can write 230 minus 4.25 mg per lit mg per uh, liter. It will become 225.75 mg per liter. All these values I have calculated now, and I will put these values in the oxygen demand. So what oxygen demand will become? It will become 1.47 multiplied by 2.15 into 10 raised to 6. That is the value of Q. Multiply by 225.75. That is the value of S. S not minus S minus 1.42 into 2.1 multiplied by 10 raised to 8. That is the value of Px which we had found out earlier. As all these things are in mg, so I have to multiply by 10 raised to minus 6 to get the value in kg. As all all these values are in per day, so unit will be, remain as a per day. So, to, so final answer will be four four one five kg per day. I will end the video by saying using these references which I have used for the preparation of this video. Thank you.